handle broke off. Cut! Amanda, you need to scream like you mean it. I did. The door handle came off. Also for the door handle. And make her look a bit better. She's supposed to look like an innocent. You think I look like a tart? I don't want to get into this. Please, let's just... Amanda? Use my stand-in. You've been all over her like a rash all day. I'm sorry, I have no further details. Do you have the press extension? Then use it. Thank you. I'm on my way over there right now with DCI Lewis and DS Baroli. Yes, sir, I can make a press announcement in about half an hour. Anna? Yes, sir. Wow. Thank you very much, sir. Oh. <sighs> this is an incredible opportunity. I'm overwhelmed. Thank you, sir. Yes. Let's go already. Yeah. Let's go. I'm sorry if you didn't make commander. It was the police authority's decision alone. It was nothing to do with any Met command above you. It was close. It was closer. Look, it was a difficult decision to make, especially with someone of your experience. But that said, what kept coming up was that botched investigation into that Fitzpatrick character. Now, in a very impressive career, sadly, it's often the one that got away that lingers in the mind. So, what was it? Somebody younger, less experienced? Or a desire to meet ethnic targets? Don't say something you'll later regret. If within six months further vacancies arise, the panel may revisit its decision. Oh, can I have that in writing? Well, I'll tell you what you can have. The press are going to be all over this murder of Amanda Delaney. I thought that was Sam Power's case. Not anymore. Close it. Fast. And I'll get my promotion. Chief Superintendent Sam Power, please stand back and behind the cordon. Thank you. There will be a press conference and an appeal for assistance later today. At this that? stage, all I can tell you is the victim has been identified as the actress Amanda Delaney. Anybody Thank you. Know, Let's get the house to house organized. You liaise with the crime scene manager. Anna, with me. Sir, I, uh, I really appreciate you putting me up for the Emerging Leaders program. Yeah, there's plenty of homework to do. But if you pass, you make superintendent within three years. I was hoping to get some time off to prepare. It's a two-day assessment, sir. Oh, no can do. Not with us now. We've not found any sign of a break-in. Her iPad was still here. The scene's been cleaned up, though. Um, evidence recovery units are on their way. Uh, can we keep movement down to a minimum, please? Everybody should be wearing overshoes. It's the new carpet, there's fluff from it over everything. Oh my God, it's bloody hot in here. All right, it? come on. There are too many people in here. Everybody out. Give me a break. There's no need for you to stay. Um, 
The victim's agent's been brought to the station. You should go back and speak to her. Yes, sir. Andrea Lesser. It was via her we got the victim's front door key. She's been here half an hour and in quite a stay. I just want to get this over with as quickly as possible. I'm still in shock. Of course. Were you close with Amanda? I wouldn't say we were close. Our relationship was a business one. I didn't know her socially by that. I mean... Oh, God. I'm sorry. I... I can't think straight. She trusted you enough to give you a key to her home. You let the police in, correct? No, I did not. Uh, they sent a unit driver to get the keys. Amanda depended on me. I had to oversee the renovations of her home, make sure she wasn't going over budget. Which is probably more than what an agent's normally required to do, isn't it? Yes, it was a lot of extra work, but then Amanda was a very important client. I see. What about her family? They didn't get on. I think partly due to the bad publicity she'd had lately. They found the tabloid hounding distressing. Did Amanda? Did she what? Feel hounded. Yes. But then a lot of it was her own doing. In what way? Amanda was promiscuous with very well-known actors, so obviously the press was interested. Look, really, I... Sorry, I can't continue. I have got so much to do with the office. She's given me a list of ex-flatmates and ex-boyfriends and other useful contacts. So check them out for me. I will do. Where's Sam Power? No idea. Me neither. Have we, uh, found a weapon yet? Nope. Our first priority should be interesting. Interviews with the cast and crew of the film that Delaney was working on. Joan, have got those lists? Oh, yeah, we are. Wow, how many people working on this film? I know. <laughs> We're going to have to split this. It's going to be a late night. Homework? Thank you. James, didn't think you were running this. Yeah, that makes two of us want to go. Well, obviously, I'm waiting on uh, further tests. But I can talk you through what I know already. Your victim. Was very underweight. I'd say she was anorexic and had been for quite some time. She also suffered multiple stab wounds, most of which lacked tissue damage, indicating that they were inflicted after death. What, so the stab wounds didn't kill her? No. The initial injury severed the pulmonary artery, which caused the air embolism in the heart. That's a pretty rapid death with minimum blood loss. Any clues as to the weapon? Yep, double edged blade, possibly army issue. Sex swabs have been taken for suspect DNA, along with tox samples, and they are being processed now. Oh! She also had a total hysterectomy. It's odd for a girl so young. What about time of death? This is work in progress. Don't push it. Yeah, but roughly. Between 10 p.m. and 3 a.m., best guess. Can I see you? Mike, we need Not your... Now. Anyone notice if Miss Delaney had visitors? Or anyone seen with her that wasn't part of the film? Not that I know of. But like I said, we were filming until late. She was in every scene, so on set for most of the day. But she was released earlier than scheduled. Do you know if she was having an affair with any of the cast? I don't think so. I know she and Rupert Mitchell had some kind of thing at one time. Where were you last night? I was here until about three and drove myself home. I was with the DOP going over some of the shots we dropped. Sorry about this. Matt, can you look after these guys? I'll be right there. We are doing a pick-up from the carriage. So you recast Amanda? Some of the crew don't like the fact that we've kept rolling, but I have producers on my back wanting me to get the film finished. Okay. Do you like her? Did I like her? I cast her. I admired her. This is tragic, and I've not really allowed myself to think about what has happened yet. Do you know of anyone who might have had a grievance against her? One of her boyfriends or one of their wives. Uh, she was 24 years old with a big career at over, and she was incredibly beautiful. She was very upset last night, wasn't she? You two had had an argument. I can't breathe in this fucking corset. 
That smoke is making me cough. When you're ready, huh, Amanda? I had a really horrible thing happen to me last night. I heard this awful scream and I woke up because it sounded like a woman being tortured. I got up and checked the house, looked outside, but there was nothing. Maybe it was a nightmare. No, it was real. It scared me. Did you call the police? No, because it didn't happen again. And like I said, there was nothing there. God, I just want to go home. I've been freezing all day. And I just want you on the set. Well, you can just wait. Wait. All we do is wait for you. We only have one more week. You want me back for the week? Then you better apologize for the way you've talked to me in front of the entire crew and cast. Because I won't step foot on set until you do. Commander could get distressed if her costume was too tight, but my relationship with her was as director only. I kept her private affairs at a distance. Now, please. I have to work. Pork chop, veg, chips. Very nice, actually. And how you doing? Good. I'm already halfway through my list. It's kind of freaky, isn't it? She even looks like Amanda. Big break for her, actually. Mike, she's coming home. I was told you wanted to talk to me. Yes, that's right. Would you like to come sit down? Oh, no, thanks. This course is so tight and the skirts are really difficult to handle. What can you tell us about Amanda? Um... You were Miss Delaney's stand-in, is that right? Oh, actually, I play Nancy, the maid. But Mr. Perils, the director, uses me as Amanda's double for the long shots. What about anything of interest? Well... We were in between takes, and the setup was taking a long time. Um, Amanda was sitting in her chair. The DP is very particular about the lights, and he was complaining about Amanda not looking fresh or something to do with her makeup. I think she'd been partying the night before because she was complaining of a headache. Listen, I might need you to back me up. I haven't been paid anything for that movie. The bitch is stealing from me. Oh, shut up! I give you my word of honor. I just said I'll delete it. <laughs> oh, oh, God, that's his home number. That's his awful wife will answer. What does airplane mode mean? Don't know. I couldn't have a tiny sip of your water, could I? Thanks. Want to see something outrageous? Final checks, everyone. Turnover. So she held it out for me to see, but we were called on to set, so I never saw it, but it sounded like an orgy. It's just so awful. And to be wearing her costume... Pick-up time is around one. Got there about five, two. Parked up as I normally do. Sent her a little text that I was outside. And I waited and... When she never came out, I went and knocked on her door. No answer. Rung a mobile, no answer. By this time, I was starting to get a bit worried myself. And that's when I let myself in. And that's when you found her? Yeah. That's right. Amanda? It's Harry. Amanda? Oh. Cover the body. So much blood. Oh. There is evidence of drug abuse. There's cocaine residue in her nostrils, needle marks in her arm. Also, small, numerous self inflicted scars. But we found no blood or skin beneath her nails. Any defense wounds? Yes. And this, possibly. Across her left palm. As you can see, it's, um, it's an odd scratch type injury. 
It's a wretched case. I'm astonished to think that this poor child was the enemy of so many teenagers. I mean, the reality is that she was a shell of a woman. You know, they're constantly showing clips of our previous movies, and it's a hell of a lot of media attention. Mm, tell me about it. Have you seen them outside? Oh. What's that, Barbara? Speed dating. Didn't fancy doing it online, you know, being a Met officer and that. I thought you were married. I was. I separated for months. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm having a ball. Right, well, can you do me a favour? You know, I've been on all these courses since we last worked together. I've done family liaison, exhibit officer, and analysis course. Good. It's really good. Can you arrange these meetings for Sean O'Dell, Rupert Mitchell, and Scott Myers? I wouldn't mind questioning any one of those actors. The Gov says I'll be doing more interviews. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks. I'm nowhere near finished. You know Pete Jenkins is on paternity leave, so we're a bit short-staffed at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Is this all she had on? Yeah. We think the killer dressed her in it. We did find two different DNA profiles from the semen found in the vaginal swabs and on the sheets, neither of which can be traced in the national database. Right, so that's possible two killers? Deposited within a 72-hour period before her death. Anything else? The uh, crucifix found in her room might bring a result. There's a small amount of blood on the broken chain. There's also that crack of cocaine. Anyone recover a phone? No, no bloodstained clothes either. We did find numerous fingerprints, mostly Amanda's, but uh, we will need elimination prints. I want a photograph of this crucifix and chain right away. Langton. Yes. Miss Lesser, thanks for agreeing to meet me. Are we going inside? Look, I'm not relishing this. It's heartbreaking. Well, I've asked you to come to see if there's anything you can spot of Amanda's that may have gone missing. I believe you oversaw the renovations. Yes. The house was gutted. It needed extensive renovations to get rid of the structural problems. I've not been in in over eight weeks. How much did it all cost? I would say total in the region of about half a million. Come on, guys! It's a lot of money. Well, it's not really expensive when you consider the property is worth over two million and she paid under one million for it. It's a very good investment. Oh, God, this is terrible. I, I, I can't believe it. I just... I can't take in what's happened. We haven't found many personal items. Did you find a soft toy? Amanda used to keep it propped on her pillow. It was always with her. It was very worn. I think it was a rabbit. Do you mind if I ask how you know this? From what you told me downstairs, you haven't been here since the work was finished. The last time I was here was to check over any snags. It was on the pillow. She always slept with it beside her. It was like a child's comfort blanket. Please, can we leave this room now? Uh, one last thing. Could this crucifix have belonged to Amanda? Look, I really couldn't tell you. I have no idea. Look, could you look at it closely, please? If it wasn't Amanda's, it might have belonged to a killer. I never saw her wear it. In fact, I don't think I ever saw her wear any jewellery. Thank you. Thank you for coming. I've been working on Amanda's iPad. They sent off some of the files. Paul's got material transferred to his computer. He might be interested in this. It looks like someone else has done a bit of the typing. Oh, some of it's really badly misspelled. Other times, quite well written. She's listing names. Men she's had sex with. Could be one of them didn't like that. Maybe a motive. Oh, this is sad. Her screensaver's her as a child. Anna, sorry. I've been going through it. Now, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Ramblings, terrible poems. There's lots about her hatred of her father. 
And then further on, she uses lots of dots and dashes instead of names. And she queries over and over whether to use their real names or not. Why does she do that? Writing her memoirs. I mean, she's only 24, but look at Jordan. She's written four. Right, I need to look into this. Thank you, Jo. I'll send it to you. The Delaney's are in reception. Good. Hello. I'm D.I. Anna Travis. I'm very sorry for your loss. And forgive me, but I am going to have to ask you some questions. Do you know anyone who had a reason to harm your daughter? Reason to harm her? Yes. You see, we're going to have to question everyone who knew Amanda. We need to find out if someone was frightening her. Maybe stalking her, someone who was jealous, angry. I can think of no one we met who would want to harm Amanda. No one. You must understand we've seen very little of her in the past five years. Is that due to her work commitments? I'm sorry to ask you this, but did you have an argument with your daughter? Argument? Some sort of falling out. I'm just trying to understand why you saw so little of her. We travel a great deal. And we don't live in London anymore. I see. So, if she was preparing to write her memoirs, some sort of autobiography, she wouldn't have told you? I very much doubt that was ever her intention. Would you give me a moment, please? Sorry to bother you, Mike. I was wondering if you could do me a favour. I'm not making much headway with the Delaney's. I think she might talk without her husband. Can you distract him for me? Now? Yeah. My husband and I are very frequent theatre goers. We hoped that Amanda would become a respected actress. To begin with, Amanda was doing very well. And then she became very difficult. Difficult? Mark had arranged a bank account and credit card and she started running up debts. No matter what we said to her, she just carried on spending. And she got into more trouble. And this time we had to travel from France to sort it out. She was pregnant and had an abortion and was bleeding internally. If we hadn't rushed her to hospital, she would have died. You must have been very worried. It was dreadful. Poor Mark had to pay a fortune to a surgeon to get her fixed up. And she destroyed any hope of ever giving us grandchildren. After that, Mark virtually refused to see her. She was so ungrateful. All the money she earned, she squandered wouldn't let her father help her with her finances. She went back to living in some awful basement flat. Did she share that with anyone? Yes. Several people. Jeannie, something or other, springs to mind. We hardly spoke to her again. Well, her daddy didn't. I, I had to because of these flatmates. She was now using drugs. Cocaine. This time I begged her to go into a rehab clinic. Genevieve, time for us to go. I was just saying to your wife how proud of your daughter you must have been. It's been hard for us to say unequivocally how proud we were. Photographers tracking us down, invading our privacy, making our lives hell. The press are waiting outside our hotel now. There's nothing we can tell you. Tragic as it is. We just want to get on with our lives. And we will continue with our investigation into the murder of your daughter. 
I'll see you out. You see the lab of forensics are in? A crucifix has been found. Uh, there's a reference to missing items. Missing? Mike, where's this information coming from? I'll check with Powell when he gets here. Nothing to do with me. My back's turned 10 minutes, you get promoted to chief super. Next, you move from drug squad to murder squad, and now you leapfrog over me to get beefed up to commander. Look, I just got my feet under the table with a murder team, and the deputy commissioner hauled me in to see him. What? I couldn't refuse the suggestion to go for a promotion, could I? I've got a bloody good idea how you did it. Ah, you mean my ethnic origin? Nothing to do with that. What are you talking about? You knew about the cock up with Fitzpatrick. You were working with my team. You knew what a screw-up it was. I, I buried it, but uh, suddenly, up it pops. You what? What are you saying? What, you think I grasped you up to waters? Is that what you're saying? What do you take me for? The subject never came up, I swear in my life. And if it had done, I wouldn't have said anything against you. Come on, Jim. I got too much respect. Have you seen the team I've been working with out there? Every one of them I brought on board because they were good enough to work with you. Now, I don't know who opened up about the Fitzpatrick case, but it certainly wasn't me. Okay. My apologies. We're clear? We're clear. There's a team on your side to the Delaney case. They're about to find out. Guys, 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 lengthen. Morning, everyone. Morning, Gov. Morning. As from this morning, the murder inquiry will be led by Detective Chief Superintendent Langton. Let's hope we reach a swift conclusion. Morning. Morning, Morning sir. Before we begin, I'd just like to congratulate Chief Superintendent Power on his promotion to commander and wish him every success with his new posting. Brilliant news. <laughs> thank you very much. I appreciate your support. Thank you. All yours, you. Sam, thank you. Thank you. Right. Down to business. Travis, can you load this for me, please? I've been given confirmation that the victim's body will be released for burial within the next 24 hours, so we better get a move on. So he didn't get his promotion. He looks good, doesn't he? Mm. Like his hair. This inquiry to date is a shambles. It lacks focus and direction. The first 48 hours are crucial, as you know, that it seems you've got virtually nothing to go on. First up, who's on the CCTV footage? Uh, the stuff I've looked at doesn't cover the victim's house, so it's... The house opposite has CCTV and appears to cover the victims, yet there's no records of any interviews with the occupants or seizure of the CCTV. Why is that? Uh, we've been told they're on holiday at Antigua, sir. Uh, we have a young girl stabbed to death and you're waiting for the owners to return home. What about a key holder or a housekeeper? Uh, the occupier is a Russian diplomat. Uh, the, the embassy looks after it while he's away, so uh, uh, they said they'll help out when he's back. That house could have CCTV footage that may prove vital in helping us to solve this case. You tell the Russians you'll get a warrant and force entry if you have to. How can I tell the Russians? I can't find them. Just do it. Well, he's mellow, doesn't he? Street over the back. A dead-end alleyway leading to a fire escape and the victim's roof. If the killer didn't enter the mews via the street, it's possible he could have got in this way, virtually undetected. Uh, there was no sign of forced entry through the front door or the skylight. Right. And the unit driver, Harry James, said that when he dropped Amanda off, there was no one hanging around the mews and that she went into the premises alone. So, the question is, was the killer already in there, having used a key, or could Amanda have admitted him later that evening? Well, we know the locks have been changed, and Amanda had four sets of keys, four new sets of keys. Uh, we recovered one key from the house, and one that her agent used, Miss Lesser, so... Yes, so that leaves two keys unaccounted for, as is the murder weapon. 
We know she used drugs. Who was a dealer? What about a crazed fan? Have we checked the websites? And items missing from her house include a soft toy rabbit, which apparently she always used to sleep with, and uh, her mobile phone. Where are they? I take it someone's pinged the phone for location? Yep, and it's no longer live. All right. Here's something else. Crucifix with a broken chain found behind her bed. Now, was it torn from her throat or from the throat of the killers? The victim also had a possible defence wound on her left palm. We hadn't been told about the, the toy rabbit and the crucifix. Yeah, well, you've been told now. What are these doing here? Well, are they possible suspects or is this just an unofficial fan club? Right. Anything? Anybody? I've got some information, sir. Go on, then. I've got confirmation that these three actors, Scott Myers, Rupert Mitchell and Sean O'Dell, all had an affair with our victim and they all went to visit her when she was in rehab. Where did this confirmation come from? Her parents. And it was also in her iPad. Well, it's not written up. Neither is the soft toy or the crucifix, sir. But most importantly, there is a possibility that she was writing some sort of autobiography. Wish I'd thought of that. It could be interesting. What, you think she might have been about to publish something inflammatory? Could be a motive, someone trying to silence her. Is there a publisher? We're still looking through it, sir. OK. Travis, you and I will split the interviews with the various boyfriends. Mike, Barbara, you take the flatmates that the victim used to live with. And Paul, for God's sake, get hold of that bloody CCTV footage as soon as possible. Right, that's it. Let's get moving. Mike, whatever word. How's your wife? Full remission, thank God. Great. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry you didn't get your promotion. Well, they screw up on the Fitzpatrick case went against me. Somebody rapped to the deputy commissioner. That's part of the reason why I took this on. I want to find out exactly who it was that stitched me up. But not one of your old team would do that. Put you in the frame. Well, I intend to find out, Mike. And we'll betide them if I do. Hello. I'm Detective Anna Travis. I'd like to ask you some questions. Scott's out. Would you mind? This is about Amanda Delaney, isn't it? Yes. She was utter trash. Scott dumped me for her. We're still separated, but he's taking Mandy, our eldest, to the dentist. That's why he's around. Coffee? Yeah, if you make one. Why do you want to see Scott? Well, I want to talk to you too. You knew Amanda quite well, didn't you? <laughs> Just because she was shagging my husband behind my back doesn't mean I knew her. It must have been very difficult for you. It can't be easy for anyone when their husband walks out, especially when it's front page news. Before I was even told, I read that he was intending to run after her. We have three children, and having the press camping on the doorstep was a bloody nightmare for me and the kids. When was the last time you saw her? A few months ago. I was at a nightclub and she was with Sean O'Dell and she smiled and waved over to me as if nothing had happened between us. Was your husband still seeing you? She dumped him. And guess whose shoulder he came back to cry on? I gave up my career for him and the kids. And he leaves me for this little nymphomaniac. Dan Hutchins, right? Uh-huh. There's a Miss Felicity Turner here and a Miss Janie Bale. Uh, Felicity's still in bed and Janie's gone to get some milk. Oh, I'll wake her up. Right. Uh, hang on in. Oh. Felicity. What a shithole. God, she's the man if we open a window. Nails shut. 
That is a lot of roaches. Hard to believe a man of the movie star ever lived here, isn't it? She's not lived here for months. I wish she keeps some of her stuff in her bedroom, but since she got a new place. Were <sighs> you and Amanda, you know? No. I sometimes she'd stay with me in my room, but it was never like that. She had problems sleeping. It was freaky some nights. It looked as if she was screaming, but there was no sound. <laughs> For all the fame and the fans, she really was very lonely. You know? I cared about her. I really cared. Hello. Hi. Must be here about Amanda. Hmm. Had some press guys hanging around outside. And she's been giving interviews. Jeannie! Lisa, eh? Yes, I thought we'd be interviewed. We were all at drama school with Amanda. But uh, these two were just in the stage management course. Yeah. Stage management's hard. We. We both went up for the same part in uh, a film called Rock Baby. Made her famous, and uh, it was between me and Amanda. I tested for it first, actually, and my agent thought that I got it, but mm. then Amanda went up for it. Never got to the bottom of how that happened, because at the time, uh, she didn't even have an agent, but anyway, <laughs> next thing that happened was that... Amanda was tested for the same role, and... Yeah, I was this close. Could have been mine, but... Uh... Amanda got the part, and the rest is history. She never stopped working after that. She got Andrea Lesser to look after her. I couldn't even get through the door at that agency. She told us that she might change her agent. If she found out that there was some payment that was overdue and everyone else had got paid. Didn't it make it difficult living here with her? Especially after she became so famous. No, not really. We'd made it up, and she always said that I was a better actress. Oh, I just needed a break. Sick, really, because now she's dead, I might just get it. Sorry to keep you. I had to take my daughter to the dentist. I'm Detective Anna Travis. I need to ask you a few questions. Did you ever see Amanda wearing a crucifix like this one? Well, we know that you spoke with Amanda on the day that she was killed. Did you uh, see her that evening? In the conversation you had with her, did she say anything that may have led you to believe that she was being threatened or she was frightened? What did you talk about? It was a brief call. I didn't really have anything to say to her. She was asking about a payment she thought she was due or was late or something. Paranoid her agent was up to something. I told her she should take it up with her. Andrea Lesser, right? She was pregnant whilst filming The Mansion with you. She had an abortion shortly after. Did you know that? No, it was in mine. We always used protection. Did you go to her muse house? Just once, after she moved there. I didn't stay long. When you were there, did you see a toy rabbit? She certainly fucked like one. <laughs> yeah, she always slept with him. Used to keep a stash of drugs in the back of it. She was very childlike, really needy. I had to get her out of my system, so I took a movie in Romania. Out of your fucking system? Needy? What about the three children that needed you, you bastard? Shut up. Sorry about that. Well, it's obvious we won't be getting back together. Fiona needs therapy. Oh, well, one more thing. Did you ever have a key to Amanda's muse house? No, I didn't. I had already broken up by the time she moved in there. Thanks. Some of her possessions still haven't been recovered. Her mobile and a, a soft toy rabbit apparently meant a lot to her. The well, one she was slept with. <laughs> no. She wouldn't have left that in. Did you have a key to the Muse house? No, we didn't see that much of her after she moved in. She didn't want us there. She was really starting to hit the big time. So where were you the night she was murdered? We were out. Uh, we were at Samantha's party. Together we all went, didn't we? 
Yeah. Okay, thank you. You two need to learn to keep your yapping mouth shut. <laughs> Take this, put it around her neck. It'll protect you. I'll remember what she is. Have you ever had a secret that you can never share? I know what you are. Tell me then. What am I? What am I for you? Sorry. Um. So, uh, a few things have cropped up. Uh, turns out Amanda was concerned about late payments from her agent. Scott Myers and Dan Hatchin said so. Plus, uh, I think I found someone involved with their memoirs, a publishing company called Golden Arrow. I called them, but I just got their voicemail. Right. I'm sorry you didn't get your promotion. Not as sorry as I am. You can't trust her. Do it now. Okay. What was that? Well, there it is. It's a crucifix. Rewind That's it. That's all. Yeah. do it. That's it. Blimey. That's the exact one. Right. Um, you make sure you question Odell about that in the morning. I'll do. He's dead. What? <laughs> 